Hey, Monokuma may be a little teddy bear that gets you to murder each other, but that doesn't mean he's a bad guy. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. On that note, without any context to what she was saying, so, in this episode, we're going to a bathroom to meet a girl. We're going in a closet. We're gonna go into the closet. We're going into the closet after meeting a girl in the bathroom, just like yep. what happened when you met Moan and Merle. You oh repressed God. a lot of things. Oh my god. Cassie, was it Urinals. the girl's bathroom? No, it's this one. It's right there, you dumbo. Oh, is that a closet? I thought that was yes. a wall. It's a closet. It's just a normal store's closet, as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about. And this is why you're a dumbo, Makoto, because you can't even search good. Because anybody could look at that back wall and see there's a fucking door there. You said it was only back in the closet, but I mean, seriously, without thinking, he puts my hand in the back of the storage closet. Suddenly, as if I were being yanked in. A shunk. At the same time as I heard the sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Uh -huh. I'd fallen through the back of the storage closet. It turned out, the back wall was like a revolving door, and I'd made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. Correct. She agrees, correct. It so is a revolving door. Room. Astute observation, Makoto. But what's in here? That's not what I was trying to investigate. There's a bunch of files and looks looking at volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looks at looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope Speak Academy Student Registry. This is the only thing in here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand, but before I had a chance to look at it, I slipped a paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. You must not leave. What's this? That's kind of weird. I could understand if it said I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. This strange sensation. It's like deja vu. It's like I've seen this place before. I've just been in this place before, higher on the street, and I know what's my time. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... I... Before we continue with this, mm -hmm. <laughs> I probably put it on screen already, <laughs> but just the, the cat in the hat with the baseball bat. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the cat in the hat with the baseball bat. <laughs> That's yeah. what that was. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Cat <laughs> in the like hat was a great movie. You forth. cannot tell me otherwise. And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. So who do you think that was, Gabe? Yep. Yeah. No. Oh, apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull. Shut the fuck up. The throbbing pain in my head proved that much, at least. Maybe it sounded funny. Yes, who do you think I, that I, was, I... Gabe? Um. I. Excuse me. Um. Let's see. It can't be Sakura. It's mm -hmm. um. Count. It can't be Asahina. Um, it could be Byakugan. Well, it... I mean more so that it was the mastermind, obviously. It could be, um... Okay. Let's see. Who's capable of holding a bat? So not Byakugan. I don't think it could have been any of them. Because I don't I don't think that Hero could have followed us without getting distracted. Bia uh, Asuna's boobs are too big. Sakura's body is too big. Um, Byakugan okay. couldn't carry a bat. So what do you think the gender of that person was? Um, Could you tell? I, I I was too busy thinking of the cat in the hat, to be honest, so female, just on that basis. That's, that's fair. Cat in the hat being funny. Um, also, I'm pretty one. sure that thing you looked at was the only thing you could look at here, so... Uh, stool. It's just a I normal mean, desk with normal stool, drawers. But... Yeah, that's all you get. Yep. Okay, that's lame. Yeah. So oh, now you get to leave and tell Kyoko that you fucked it up. Empty bookshelf, huh? Empty? Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even though the note had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. 
the insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room, get some rest. Yeah, I'm dealing with a concussion. That is not a logical thing to be said right now. My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back towards my room. Somehow I made it back to the first floor of the school. <sighs> the further I walked, the more I felt. Things are getting blurry, you can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... Hmm? As if from a vast instant, distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. That sound, it's coming from the gym. As I desperately hauled my shaky frame towards the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here in the gym? I mean, I doubt it, but... All that matters now is the gym. All that matters now is the gym. Final just item. Just go into the gym, bro. I'm just seeing to be sure. I'm curious. He'll just keep saying it. It's a fast thing to click on them. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds coming from inside, <clears throat> meanwhile, we intensified that much more. Gotcha, fuck you! Hagagaya, hiya, touching! Bakya, the dun, sha 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 sha. Ooh, penny shop. Before me reached a battle beyond anything humanly possible. Sakura, why are you fighting Monokuma? That doesn't seem like a good idea. They have bombs, and you sleep sometimes. I think. I mean, I wonder why. I wonder why, Gabe. No one side's not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. Partly because of the handy shot. I forgot to move or even breathe. That is a toned what ass, do you bro. Think you're mm. doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal. Oh. Yeah. I made a decision. I will no longer retreat, no, no longer compromise, compromise, no longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going, I'm going to resist to you. resist you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> what am I looking at? Honestly, it's probably the toned thighs. What am I no. hearing? A hostage? Then could it be the mastermind spy is... I want Sakura to pick me up and cradle me with those massive arms. A next generation yeah. legend, stand tall, black hero. End. Yeah. So, you know? That's about the only way that you could get Sakura to be a spy. Yeah, it's just, you know, it was funny, because you were giving me your ideas, and you were like, Kyoko, and I was like, okay. I mean, it could have been, but also, sh I'm still down to the idea that she's the place detective who gets this all rolling. Who has been fucked with, and that's why things are confusing. I mean, well, she doesn't know her ultimate, though. I mean, does she not? Because... No. All we know is that something happened to her body. We don't know anything about that yet. We were only told that it was question marks to us. Receive the Super Robo Justice present. Hmm. Three's a crowd, apparently. Let's see. That's a lot of save files you got there, buddy. Are you good? And it's almost like I save after certain key events. I mean, I just save at the end of every trial. I I don't. I save like three times per trial, maybe four. Some of them some of them were because of certain recordings just in case something failed. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Still bullshit. And Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro Swallers. And then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka, then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. Honestly, it should have been the scene of the bus, but yeah, I think this is more majestic. And that brings us up to now. 
the next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. Hold on. I'm trying to count how many of us are left. Is it seven? Aoi, Makoto, Byakuya, Toko, Kyoko, I mean, Hakura, it'd be easier to Sakura. count the other one. I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, eight. Well, also, she's saying that there's five there, and there's two that aren't, so. Yes. Uh, three that aren't. There was eight of us left. There were 16 of us to begin with, right? Or was there an empty spot? No, there was, there was 15. An empty spot. There was an empty spot. Yeah, so okay. So, yeah, seven. there is seven left. You're correct. Okay. Now, it's still okay. weird that there's an empty spot. I mean, he said that it was just set up like that, but that we only started with that many. Hold on, I had to grab my paper. Yeah, uh, I, okay. I still feel like Monokuma is full of shit 90% of the time. So now there's only five of us here. <sighs> Only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. Hmm. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Soccer is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Hmm. Makoto, are you okay? Uh, no, I, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? You like eat out until we pass? What? what do you mean in that case? I mean... Well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? I'm sure, Erpertur, if you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up, so let's eat! Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand! Up. That's like a deep impact style, meteor impact, extinction level event, combination of foods. Huh? What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers! Not together. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go um, explore. What accent? Uh, <laughs> uh, this is hard. Okay. Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. <laughs> Still laughing because I read the whole line in the other accent. <laughs> That's right, since the trial, class trial, is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Uh, plus, we still have alter ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. Despair? Uh, She's dis right. We need to plan ahead and think for you the future. Yeah, yeah, think happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. You know? I think we're gonna get out of here, right? You're serious. When this is over, I think I want to get reborn for serious, or, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um. Uh, what makes you so sure? According to the spirits, I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However, how accurate is your fortune telling anyway? He's a hundred percent right, thirty percent of the time. I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. Hmm. That seems really low. It's not like some occult well, mystery. yeah, it's not like ESP or whatever. Of course I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap! I told you, my fortune telling isn't something like a cult. Some occult thing, whatever. Um, fortune telling isn't a cult? You got it all wrong! Of course not! Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Huh? Cattle what? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually... No, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. 
It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. And before long, the sky was filled with mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. Or that, or you just literally saw what was happening in slow motion as you dropped your burger and it fell into pieces. One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. I hate you, you Yasuo Hero Hagakure. I hate you so goddamn much. Uh, uh, I hate him. My head! I hate him so much. I'm not reading for him anymore. This is too stupid. How about that? I kind of got lost halfway through. I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. <sighs> well, you do stink, though. Hmm. Huh? That's fine. Um. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry, but I was I was fairly certain I could actually read his lines, but reading his lines actually actually just makes me feel like a fucking idiot. It. I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. No, I. That goes for me too, of course. I can never kill any of my friends. <gasps> Last person to say it, it's a murderer! It's Makoto. No, no it, it's Byakudan. I mean, well, they're not and, even here. You know, Genocide Jack. Nah, you know. We already so knew about that words one. Words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. Well. But... To be honest, I wish Byaki and Toko were here for this too. But... But they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. Uh, I'll read him as long as he doesn't go on one of those tirades again. Yeah, we're better off without him, I say. That was enough to prove. We were united for the time being, but within that bond hid a weakness and fragility. Fragility? Fragility. Chapter Agility! All-star apology. Um... What? What? Concerned. Why? Because that was Aoi right there? Yeah. To and be Olivia. fair, the, the cover doesn't really, you know, mean anything. Because for the... Galactic Hero won last chapter. It was Hifumi, but also Sakura. So. Well, yeah, but it was also, you know, Ultra Ego in Aoi, and it says All Star Fragility, which there, we only have two All Stars left. All Star. Whatever. You know what I meant. I, I said Fragility like... because it was the last line of the thing. So, like, Apologies um, or something, I think? I can't remember what it said. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Fragility is what came to mind because it was literally the last line I read. But, like, All-Star, whatever, it, it's it, it's Aoi or Sakura. Mm. We began our search as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had I mean, oh, what it opened technically up. we're what all difference? Ultimates, so we're all All-Stars? Yeah, All-Star is a term for sports. It's not to do with, you oh. know science or anything hey else. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get the game on. Go play. I wonder if it's in the kitchen now. Uh, leave the area. Okay, so I'm going to assume it's on the third floor, and I mm. think I have the ability to check that, so... Jump second floor, jump first floor, hope speak third floor. It would... It's right there. Oh, well, it's open. That's weird. Oh my we've seen God. that one coming. Never saw it. So now we've access to the fourth floor of Hope Speak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. 
No, this time I have to find it. So what do you think's on Way this the girl's floor? Bathroom. We can't. Makoto's a little pissy bitch, and he will never go into the girls' bathroom. Yes, I know. I was, I was making. No, I know. I'm I just ha- mad because he it. won't go into the girls' bathroom. Go into the girls' bathroom, Makoto. Come on. Um, there's definitely a thing there, but you know, whatever. There's nothing to do in this bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure, Jan. I wonder what's up here. Data lab. Rattle, rattle. No good. The door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. No, it's not. What, but what's the door? It's a total mystery. It's fine. Oh, whatever. 4A. You want to do some learning, bitch? One day, I saw Monokuma in class. La la la. Gobble, gobble. He, he is that me? Makoto. Yeah, he eat you. He eat you. Sorry, you have to find out like this. <laughs> <laughs> I got this floor got open up and all, but there's a total a ton of lots of room to the fuck. I cannot read him. I really cannot read him at all. Reading his lines turns you into an idiot. He infects you. I mean, All right, where's I the ultimate superhero? We need yeah. you on set. Yep. That's the one that they didn't put in the 16th slot because it was too OP. Right. There's a clock right here, but what use is time in here? I mean, very useful. You'll be killed if you're walking out in certain areas. There's just, you know, I'm better off just ignoring it. These monitors are so old school. So ugly. Yep. Reminds me of what you'd see in an actual school. Nah, Especially my school had better TVs than that. Monitors, whatever. Well, brag about it. Also, yeah. my school was rich. No, I went to public school. Yeah. Also, uh, when was Danganronpa? Uh, this one, I think, 2010. Okay, so right about the time we were in high school, got it. You were like a freshman or a sophomore. Um, no, I was, yeah, freshman. Because it was November 2010, so it was almost the end. Okay. So yeah, you were midway through your freshman year. This is the office, but of course there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. The third one came out three years ago. flowers. Is this to pay respects for all the teachers who weren't able to get to school because they locked the door? (laughs) There's a flower on the desk, somehow it makes me feel that much weirder. Yeah, the third game came out three years ago. It came out in 2017. Please just look at the obvious thing, Gabe. Please. I'm getting coins. You can still get coins, even if you pick up the obvious thing. Okay. Sorry, I'm, uh, this is just really free coins. I'm just skipping through this. It's all the same text anyway. If it wasn't fighting me, I really wish the cursor were just a cursor and not just, you know, sucking onto everything. It's like the washing machine's all over again. Okay. Now there's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Celeste, Tifumi, and Sayaka. The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? Including Sayaka? No, there's no way Monokuma did it. It must be fake. (laughs) You're fake! Monokuma popped out of nowhere and snapped the picture from my hand. A forgery pot? What are you, a middle schooler? (laughs) Can't you think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then you're saying this picture is real? 
If there's such a thing as the Noble Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so easy to split things in half, aren't you? <laughs> but it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real if that's true. If that's the case, then I should look at this box. No? Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to. Not what I investigated. I investigated the one way over here. I'm just liking all these coins in this room, to be honest. This might be my favorite room yet. Disappointing. Disappointed! Assuming that's all. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's head out. Assuming this will be important. The name point of the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room, this must be something worthwhile in there. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Huh? The door's locked. Damn it. This is the music room. It's hard to leave in a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Get up Is this there. A grand piano? It seems really old. If it's Sing worth a lot Piano of money. Man. Of course, without someone around who could play, it's totally useless. It's a good thing I can play the piano, you know, like a master. It's totally I can. You have no idea. Hey. You know, uh, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So, about the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was what? attacked. Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind, I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. When I came to, the meltdown files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important That's those fine. were. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. Hi. And I have suspected the Mastermind might come after you. Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room... That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could have revealed the Mastermind's identity. Then you know who I was going to be attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. Not a good reason. <laughs> Having faith in me is one thing. Saying it's because I'm a boy is not. <laughs> what, is, what does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Then All let me ask boys you are else. the ultimate superhero. Oh, so I can break open those walls. Okay, cool. Yeah, go. Go ahead. So let me ask you something. Oh, that's why he was trying to tell me that I couldn't split things. Because he was afraid I might just split open the wall. Yeah, obviously. So let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance so... camera. I'm looking into it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the so matter. Then. So now it's your turn. Let's see your secret. Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? That's... <sighs> what? What's the matter? 
If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. <sighs> We're friends, so you should be able to trust me, isn't that what you said before? You got a choice right. here, Gabriel. There shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but... There's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you couldn't have evidence. You got a choice here, Gabriel. And let me tell you, one's correct and the other one's not. I want to tell her. Okay. I uh, I think that she's a completely reasonable per person who, even if it's nothing, she wouldn't jump out and tell everyone. If it is something, she needs to know so she can act on it. Okay. Try. The game will not let you tell her. <laughs> that was the wrong answer. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, because I tried to tell her too when I played, because like you said, exactly. Like, she's reasonable. She's smart. She wouldn't immediately tell everybody. She would, you know, talk to Sakura first. You know, As a reminder, figure it out. Makoto Naegi is the one who, if, if Sayaka was still around, would have immediately told her, and Sayaka would have done some stupid shit. Hey, I mean, Sayaka wasn't stupid, but... No, but would have done some stupid shit because everyone's paranoid. This is the least paranoid person in the entire universe who is really methodical and doesn't, you know, tell just anyone. To but be fair, I don't think it's Makoto that's making this choice. This is literally just the game does not want you to ruin the plot, so they won't let you. Because I yeah, feel that... like Makoto would trust Kyoko at this point, like she said. He said that to her. She's been telling him her secrets. I feel like he would tell her about this. But yes, the game's just like, that's no. what I'm saying. Makoto would not act this way. They talk about how it could just make things that much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. I'm gonna tell her! Don't give me an option. Don't yeah. give me a fake option. That is the worst thing in games. Sorry, I can't tell you, not Hello. yet. And now she trusts us less. So, Good job, that's game. Your answer. However. But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share? My my like, you know, my response here. Give me a few hours. I need to check something. Then I'll tell you. That would be if I wasn't certain. I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. Because she, she may be mad at us now. Yeah, it's almost like this entire scene was stupid. And I hate it. With those as parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. 